I always wanted to start a YouTube channel. <clears throat> YouTube's not new to me. I've posted things on YouTube before. Hi, Sasha. There's a little story behind her. We can talk about her later, I guess. She's so pretty, though. Oh, my gosh, look at her. She'd be in the mountains someplace. You're picking that up. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. And we don't even know if she's ours yet. But who am I kidding? <laughs> God. Oh boy. I'm almost 50 years old. Uh, literally in days, we'll be 50. So I assure you, I'm not starting this channel through any midlife crisis. And my car is not the result of a midlife crisis. Get down, Sasha. Because I've been this weird, like, most of my life. So, this isn't a phase. But, I was joking with my family, my wife, that if this channel takes off, I don't know what algorithm I'll fall in. This was the noise maker last video. Thank you, John. A gentleman named John DeBear is the one who started the build on this car, although it looked nothing like this when I first got it from him. I gutted the rear end and replaced the horribly placed fuel tank by Ford and I replaced it with a racing fuel cell all aluminum and it, there's an explanation I can, I, I, that's not even what this is about but this car is just a very small part of my obsessions with certain things in life a lot of this stuff's hand built I made a cowl induction hood scoop this year unlike the one last year that was uh, just a front scoop it sucked in it took in massive amounts of air I don't have oh there it is <laughs> I walked right past it a tremendous amount of air but it wanted to pull my hood off it looked cool but it was stupid so I made one that uh this cowl induction right into the air air filter this little baby skips and hops and she makes me happy like a lot of little things in life <clears throat> back to that algorithm what would I fall in in six months or a year from now I don't know because I also like building decks with my wife this yard oh my god was so depressing but we turned it into like a little mr miyagi type of thing going on and sasha fits right in i mean she's japanese so we're kind of like oh i don't want to get crap for that so you know but you get what i'm saying that algorithm man because i wouldn't really call myself a jack of all trades because I'm not really a jack of all trades because I'm not good at a lot of stuff. I know how to do a lot of stuff, but I'm really good at a few things. Yeah. And one of those few things, Sasha. Hey, Sasha. <laughs> She's so pretty. Uh... Those obsessions are storytelling through pictures. Uh, I admired artists like Boris and Salvador Dali, MC Escher, oh my goodness, Morris, Cor Morris Cornelius Escher, MC Escher, that's how he signed his work. Then you have Rob Gonzalez. And you have Harmonious Bosch, and you have amazing painters. And then there were my two uncles. 
that uh, I've never seen pencil artists like that in my life. But when I was a child, I wanted to taste that, man. I wanted to be able to do something with your hands that, you know, nobody can take away. Nobody can challenge because art's eternal, man. You can't be the best at it because there's no such thing. It's like saying <clears throat> saying you're the best artist or the best painter or the best whatever in regards to art. It's like saying you're the best at numbers. Numbers are eternal, <laughs> so you can't be the best at it. You can be good at it for sure. You can be great at it. For sure. But you can't be the best at it. There's no such thing. That's stupid. The top best, top 100, top 500 best artists, top 10 best songs. It's just, it needs to be eradicated from our language. But I promise you that there, this channel is going to have a lot to offer there's going to be a lot to see because I've been up to a lot of stuff for the past 25 years and it's sprinkled all throughout my home my basement restaurants and places throughout the country and out of the country and you can kind of say <clears throat> that this channel has started because I have come full circle so to speak and I'm still have mixed feelings about that saying that but it feels like it but it reflects in a lot of stuff that I do and uh, I consider myself right now as we speak a retired spray painter I worked for a large uh, sign company almost practically the way I treated it I was like freelancing painting large functional signs for Valvoline campaigns and Chrysler and General Motors and you know a formula painter you know HVLP those who are who are painters know what I'm talking about but I did it for a long time a very long time and it's carried on through personal parts of my life. Like, for example, this that we've been talking about. This is the one thing that I consider that I do in my life neutral. Like, I can talk about it and have fun with it and enjoy it for what it is and not turn into get too crazy with it and before you know it when I talk about it enough I start sounding like an evangelizer I can talk cars man I can talk building cars I have a lot to learn and I have a lot that I want to do to this car outside of the other thing that I do that's my heart and soul this car is fun. It's to free my mind from other stuff. And I'm not trying to say that it's something deep, but to relax, you know, and to not think. And that's what this car is. My dream for this car is to mini tub it. I'd like to do it myself, but I can't afford the kit. But when I do, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, tearing the whole butt end out of that little Pinto and mini tubbing it. We're gonna put in a nine inch, maybe. It's already got an eight inch rear end. I'd like to put a nine in it, but if I can, I'll keep it at eight and simply put a uh, Detroit locker in it. Simple stuff. This is just, to me, drag car basics. She's not ready. It's too fast, but not safe. But we're going to get her there. But again, this channel is not going to be about building cars. It's not going to even be about drag racing. It's not. It's really not. I swear to God. It's going to be about everything. 
everything. So hit the like button, man, and subscribe. I promise that there's going to be a lot to see.